Okay. Um, I've got everything cleared with the other call. Uh, all I have is an agreement with uh, one of the guys in my team uh, to call me if he has a problem getting connected. But I set the, I'm setting all the meetings for the company. So one of them <clears throat> is a, a call that I have. Um, I set it to, uh, to, to, there's an option in Zoom where you can uh, set it to no host, right? There's no need for a host. So yeah. it's a so we'll see how that goes. I'll get a call if it doesn't go well. Um, I, go ahead. I'm listening. I, I just uh, quickly text the RIA. She's going to join us because I know about this. And this is, but she mentioned it, that she might join us. Yeah, you go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to type while you so yeah. Sorry about this. Yeah, so, yeah, it looks like... Um, We'll get definitely get a better outcome that now that we moved it to this uh, time slot. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's pretty early there for you, right? Was about. I mean, and it's uh, seven fifty-eight. But yeah, just about. Yeah. I I usually wake up like five. I'm I'm uh, let me pull up a screen here. Uh huh. And I'm trying to find my Zoom screen. I lost it. Here we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to move it over here so I can see. I'm, I'm going to pull up the agenda. And um, I'm hoping I could get somebody to scribe while I drive the call. Um, or did, did you want to? You, you, want, you want me to run the call, right? You want to be sure? Uh, I will just start and uh, maybe introduce what we are going to talk about. Yeah, did, are, are you able to, here's the question, are you able to hang on to the full? Yeah, we got some background. Yeah. Okay, so the, let's sort of level set on who's going to do what. Um, are you able to hang on to the call, the, the full, full length of the call, or do you, do you have to step out for your work? Are you asking me? Yes. Uh, so I have to leave at 8.20. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, so that so, makes... So, 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 so sorry, 9.20. <laughs> so I have one oh, hour. Okay. All right, we'll, 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 we may have plenty of time. Um, I can drive the agenda since I created the agenda. I understand the agenda. And um, what I wanted to do is just uh, see if somebody wanted to scribe while I drive the meeting, somebody sort of take notes. Um, that's something that, that I'm, <laughs> it would relieve me greatly because I, I could focus on getting the information out and leading the conversations. But if I do both, I, mean, I want to I, I, I can do it. It's not a problem. I mean, yeah. I will do a note right now, and uh, I just can post it later yeah. on, like, because I'm working. Yeah, so um, I'm going to pull up Slack, and and then I'm going to pull up my file. So just give me a second. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. And um, let me pull up my file so I could. Now, I kept the copy be on Slack so you can take that and use that as the outline for your meeting for for minutes um, I have some of my outlines um, uh, and this is going to be more comfortable for me so all right with this, but you can just maybe add something if I miss something but you said you would like to run a meeting right just let me clarify it and then this is going to be in I'm pulling up a file. I'll pull up the file myself and keep my own notes, whatever I can. But again, I'm not going to be able to capture as much. Um, I can do it and I can always go again like a second, uh, you know, watch our meeting. To okay. All right. So. Hello. You could also record the meeting and transcribe the notes after. Yeah, well, we have it. Uh, let me make sure. That's, that's a good reminder. Um, we, we, uh, 
I Marina and I have this agreement to, to, to try to remind each other to double check that to be sure it's, it's done. So let me. Yeah, that's great. Let me double check. Um, Donald, I, uh, can you quickly just clarify who's going to run the meeting? You? Yeah, that's what I, I was under the impression because I, I created the agenda. Uh, so did, you, you did you do any preparation? Because maybe. I mean, I. I did some preparations, so not much, and because I think this meeting is all about June and the bonus what we, have, uh, we can make next spring, and uh, what has been done until last uh, spring retrospective meeting we had few notes, uh, which we were able to improve. So I think it's mostly about team, but uh, how I feel, but I might be wrong. So if you did agenda, you can go ahead. Um, yeah, um, I, I thought that was clear because I posted it on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So here, here's what, uh, you know, if, I assume if you create the agenda, then you know what the, uh, what the meeting is. So maybe we'll keep it at that. That, that way it's dry, you know, we drive okay. it correctly. Um, okay. But if I stepped on your toes, I apologize. I didn't mean to... No, 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 no. I mean, I like, thought, I thought, I didn't even think you'd be able to make this call personally, so I didn't. So know. Let, let's go ahead. Uh, I just surprised that it's eight or three. Nobody there. Okay. Let me double check with people, and uh, yeah, let's yeah, go with your I, agenda. Right, because right now it's uh, nine. Uh, well, your time eight o'clock, and eight then eight four, yeah. And it's just the three of us. Yeah, <laughs> just the three of us. <laughs> it's this time to remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm pulling up the agenda here. I'm going to untag this. There we go. Make it easier for folks to see. And I think if I push this on, uh, uh, Lisa, if I put this in um, the uh, the Google Drive, we can all edit it at the same time, right? This could be shared. Yeah, it should be a live document if you share the edit link. <clears throat> Yeah, why don't I do that? Give me a minute, and while we wait for folks to get on, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm actually walking to work right now, so okay. I probably won't be typing okay. this, but uh, yeah, I'll mostly just be on the call. <laughs> Sorry. No, I just, no, I didn't expect you to do that. That wasn't what I was getting. <laughs> my, my, I just, yeah, yeah, no, but yes, it's a live technical document, advice. so if you have edit mode, then anyone should be able to type, and basically yeah. you see a mouse cursor in different colors. So like, you know, Donna might be pink, Marina might be blue, Sylvia yeah. will be red. So people yeah. can type all at the same time. Let's try that. Okay, so let me let me do this. Yeah, all just right. make sure when you share, it's in edit mode. Because I think okay. it has view only, comment only, and edit. All right, so let me get it's that small, one here. Just a small reminder that April and Sayo, they are gonna jump like, again, they are gonna on the way going to be on the way to somewhere to work or whatever and they are not going to be able to type anything okay uh let's see okay let me do the technical piece and assess whether we should because it's, it's it's stakeholders and and uh scrum master but we don't have the team so <laughs> maybe we i, I asked it's, folks if if they can do um if they could at least look at the agenda and then respond if they, they are unable to do this. So let's let's do this. Let me let yeah, me good, let's good decide. Morning. Hi David, how are you doing? Good morning. I don't know how I'm doing. How are you doing? I good. missed you. I missed the 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 uh, invite calendar for Wednesday. Somehow I have not even seen it. Uh, no, honestly, I I'm my my apology. I'm in the middle of uh, uh, onboarding for Northeastern uh, Donald, and I missed my first one, which was in uh, uh, last month, in, in, in late September, early October, and I didn't know they had set up. Uh, they they're scheduling a couple of classes for me. Okay, and, awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm and I, you know. And their onboarding has time attached to it. Like Wednesday, I had an assignment. Today, I have an assignment. It's like crazy. <laughs> Plus, no you have no idea what kind of transformation I have at home. Uh, hi, April. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. 
Good morning. Hi, David. How are you? <laughs> I'm just fine. How are you? Good, good. And yeah, um, sorry, I've been absent for the last month, but Marina and Dada runs a tight ship, so it's been great to be able to tag back in and check on Slack. The last sprint was fantastic as usual. So, yeah. All right. You guys have here. no idea how 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 grateful I am being part of your team. Uh, it's it's uh, it's an experience that that not many people has. I'm I'm in contact with many other uh, organizations here uh, who have been um, trying to and by the way paying paid people being scrum masters and team members after five years they're not even close to the synergy we have come through within a few months. Excellent. Thank you. That's great gonna... to hear. Yeah. It's funny too. I feel like at my <laughs> at my new job, I'm basically. I, yesterday, I had a realization that my job is actually being the fixer. And it's really all about communication overhead and people. So that was an interesting realization. <laughs> okay, well, let's do this. I, I don't know what happened here. I my mouse is screwed it screwed up something. Um. Give me it back. I want it back. <clears throat> I don't know what this is doing. It's driving me crazy. April, I got that. I don't know where this came from. <sighs> if you want, I can okay. just uh, do a note. I don't know. Um, I've got this stupid icon up and I don't know how to get rid of it. Now it's just locked up my system. I, I don't know, back to sync. Maybe refresh the web page if it's yeah. locked. Sometimes it's X funny. All right, let's go back in. Thank you, Lisa. You never fail. All right, so this, uh, there's the retrospective. Um, if I open it and I set it, you said set it for, well, first of all, I wanted to, what I was trying to do is get a link and um, put it onto the, the, the um, so my navigation is just sucky here. Hang on, I just lost the tab. All right, this is frustrating. Do it live. Nope, that didn't work. No frustration. Take it easy. Maybe you need to just either re, you know refresh or uh, restart, log out, and log back in. No, I'm just gonna. It's it's this one. Yeah, I just I got mean. into the office as well. Um, did we decide on who's transcribing the notes, or I can probably I can help to jump on and. Operate Google Doc. Okay. Um, get rid of a lot of these. <clears throat> to start all over again. Good morning. Good morning. We got uh, Sylvia and April. All right. Now we're getting the team together here. Um, I'm getting close, Lisa. <laughs> no problem. I'm just getting my computer set up and all. I got sprint agendas, and then I got sprint team four, and then I got uh, retrospectives right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a copy and link it to folks so that they can get to it. And this is where it cut me off last time. Okay. Okay. Done. Copy link. Right now, I can go into here and um, I want to go into the. Um, let me close and expand this. I'm trying to expand. Come on. 
So we'll do the How do I open this? Yeah. Okay. What are you trying to do? <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get um I minimized my tab. Okay. And I'm trying to open it so I can get to the chat. And I can't get to the chat. Uh, if you scroll to the left or to the right, it might just be a different screen of things. But otherwise, I was just at this point just sharing Slack. Okay, here we go. Hang on, there's the there, there it is. So we're going to start the record. I'm going to, I don't see a, a drop down option for chat. <clears throat> That's my problem. There it is. Yep. Okay. And here we go. So here's the link. It's now on. And that's the agenda, everybody. Great. Okay. So we got, we got a good, good, good show up now. And um, so it's great. Everybody can join. And what we'll do is at the top of the agenda, um, let's start there. I'm going to get the file in front of me so I can read from it. Okay, so the purpose of the meeting, let's get started. And um, thanks, folks, for being patient. Um, David and Lisa, don't worry. When Marina and I had that call, I put you down as optional. I knew you guys were busy, but it was just sort of added value if you could go in. So you guys were great. I, I really appreciate your conscientiousness of not being there, but it's okay. We're, we're good. All right, thank you. And um, Marina and I had a great conversation, and and we we were sort of sort of uh, preparing for the, you know, all the scheduling issues, and the challenges, and um, the retrospective in general, and how it's gonna, um, how we're gonna pull pull it together. So we we had some of those conversations. Um, Marina wants to go back into the development team, right? And we'll, we'll talk about that hopefully at the end of this retrospective as part of it, uh, maybe get an idea of what folks want to do next. And that will help us in our kickoff. And the next two or three weeks, we're going to build up uh, uh, the volunteer group again and get a couple more folks on board. And we'll start the next cycle. And then at the end, <clears throat> we're also going to talk about the holidays. And maybe we need to give this a little more bandwidth, a little more room so that we can <clears throat> still fulfill something, but maybe extend it and make it easier for folks because the pressures of the holidays. And you got, you know, uh, everybody, you know, people who are new. So I imagine you're gonna have a great time with uh, maybe some of the holiday parties with the, within your companies to get to know people and, you know, potlucks or whatever goes on. So making sure that you have that time and you're not stressed out, you know, just one more thing on your plate, right? So if you could focus on those things, that's what the holiday is all about not to get stressed out and even for our team so that we can, we can enjoy it and, and uh, still, you know, function and not make this a burden, but make it a pleasure. Okay. So that's a little, um, the uh, retrospective, this is for sprint four, right? Right. Okay. So um, just an idea of the pr purpose of the retrospective and um, I put that there, but on the agenda, um, I want us to reflect on uh, Confucius. Confucius. Confucius says, "By three methods we have learned, we learn wisdom. Right. The first is by reflection, and which is the noblest, and the second is by imitation, which is the easiest, and the third is by experience, which is the bitterest. Right. So I want to make fun of that bitterness part because this is really what our our image is. This is this is our brand. Right." We're the guys going to show the world what the bitterness is, but how to overcome it and how to go with the flow, you know? And, uh, and so his response to Confucius is excellent. It says the retrospective is your opportunity to elevate the bitterness of experience into the nobility of reflection. So there's a sort of outlines it all. So I wanted to go over and remind us that this retrospective is to start with success. We need to look at the positive and the celebration in that mode. Uh, be, so if we start going down the tracks of the issues and things. We want. So let's look back and see what we have accomplished. And um, and so um, we want to we want to collect from that. 
um, it puts us in the right light. It puts us in a positive mode so that when we see we had overcome all that bitterness, right? All the things that were just, you know, stepping into a space that wasn't comfortable and um, going into areas that, that are unknown and handling the technical aspect of, of any of this is, is an art. And so we overcame it and we had quite a success story here. Um, you know, and we want to make sure that these uh, action plans are a result of that so that we can continually improve. And um, one of the things is, you know, we don't have to do anything great and big, bold. Um, although those I don't want to refrain from putting on the backlog because that's what the backlog refinement process is. So if we do have some really big, great, big ideas, let's not discount them, but let's break them down into small little things that matter, right? And so that's a, the little, the last um, point there was small changes have a bigger impact than the good ideas that never happen. And the way you make those good ideas ever happen is you break them down and you chip away at them, right? One at a time. So that's the beauty of this whole uh, art of uh, Scrum and, and this Agile methodology is to be able to do that. Can't eat an elephant, right? How do you do it one, one bite at a time, right? Okay, so, and I don't eat elephants, by the way. I, I do like elephants, so. but it's a term that people use in the business. It gives you sort of that visual. Um, so let's talk about what we did, what we learned. Um, and, and then at the end, I, I always option for things I may have overlooked. So just to get you guys started, I put a list and I go, you know, this is quite a big list. I, I thought maybe two or three, but as I started thinking about it, we, we've done quite a few. So we now have a dedicated page that will recognize every volunteer, right? And that they've been contributed, that, that, you know, so they can point people to it and say, he, see, this is what I did. These are the teams I work with. This is a product that represents what I, what I was part of and about. So we've accomplished that. And uh, that, that's really a vision that David and I had at the beginning. And it's, you know, we, we've come to fruition to some expect, uh, aspect of that. We set the foundation and we're ready to go. And it didn't take a lot. I mean, there's a, a lot of cycles. It's just four sprint cycles. We had like what we call a beta cycle. That was tough, but um, the process works. Right, and if you guys hang on, the longer you hang on and sort of get exposed to this, then you're along the ride and you're, you're, you're uh, David, I wanna make that opportunity for anybody to, to be part of the experience. So we resolved the problem with the endless and ongoing sidebar reference area. That was a concern, it was a threat to us, right? We thought we, that, that's not gonna look good, you know, on the page, it's not gonna, you know. So we, we've got that one done. The names listed on the new volunteer page have hyperlinks to LinkedIn um, profiles. I've heard that in a couple cycles where we wanted to do it. We finally got it done. So that's awesome. And, uh, and then um, the team was successful in arranging a co-location meetup in San Francisco. Kudos to everybody. I wish you could be there. Um, but, um, you know, the next event we'll do is we'll, we'll try to go to maybe Dave's meetup. And uh, I can schedule a, a flight to go to California and meet everybody there. And that'll probably be in the first quarter. So that's my goal. Um, uh, let's see, we can now display, uh, and we need to do more of those. I, I say, again, so without getting deep into the retrospective, we'll keep that in mind. The, um, the team was successful in arranging co-location meetups, right? And then we, we uh, Ongoing list of sprint team accomplishments. Uh, that's something that uh, was quite added value. We didn't quite expect that to happen, but we got that in there. Um, I'm going to be closing that up with uh, Rhea uh, this afternoon. She needed to just post the document, so we'll make that exception and get that done. So, like it's like it is. It's Scrum and Kanban, right? It's sort of a Scrum bot we're doing here, and um, <clears throat> so. Uh, Let's see, we can now display ongoing list of sprint accomplishments. Okay, so then from there, we're gonna go on to um, add ongoing completed elements. And um, Marina, just remind, you know, you have something we talked about in our other call, I won't uh, steal your thunder, but uh, something we can bring up in the, in the retrospective about where to continue from there. Uh, we have published a new blog post. Congratulations. This is refreshes our team and gives everybody an idea, even the visitors to the site that 
we're alive and we're still here and we're doing things. And, um, and, and the, the article alone is doing a number of things. It's adding to the brand, it's providing and, uh, and consistent with what we want to accomplish and it's showing the world some things that we want to share. And so it's done on, on a number of um, uh, objectives. This hits a lot of them. So, um, and the team members have updated their website profiles. So if you haven't, um, we have team members that know how to and can share that knowledge. And so if you wanna add value to your participation as a volunteer, it's very open, go in and update your profile and then write an article. And if you write an article, our system automatically puts your name in that article and that if people click on that, they'll see your profile. Again, and in your profile, you might want to put your LinkedIn connection there. So it's a tool that just um, adds value to what you do. And, and we've taken advantage of that in this, in this sprint. Um, I know Sayoa did, and Sayoa sort of motivated me to go ahead and add, uh, to, to do mine. You know, I says, here, a volunteer is doing this, and I'm, I'm not doing it. So it put a, a fire under me to get, get that done. And um, it doesn't have to be real complicated. You can start off, right? Well, progressive elaboration is a, is a, a yeah, project management uh, script, you know, sort of an agile approach. Um, volunteers established through, okay, so um, I think that's it for me. Um, is there others that I missed? Quite an accomplishment, um, you know, at every, every sprint we have, it, it, this list gets bigger and bigger. Any comments? Yes, if I may, just a couple of minutes before I turn the, 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 the uh, uh, mic to a uh, couple of us, uh, I think uh, Sylvia and April had to leave, so I'll let the uh, Give me just a couple of minutes. I, uh, before you guys join us, I said that I'm uh, in contact with many, many uh, paid scrum team, you know, as like larger organizations. And uh, I was talking to one of the scrum masters who've been doing it for past four plus years, uh, by the way, being paid to do that. And mm -hmm. they're not even close to what we have accomplished is in less than half a year and that is that that is quite amazing and that's because we have the passion we do not work for money we're here for for the passion we have we, we have a goal that we want to make sure that the product that we're creating the community that we're creating is being used by many to come after us a few of the accomplishments thanks to donald you just named you have no idea how that site or link to your profile is going to make some changes to your online uh ranking when anybody is typing uh you know lisa lisa hong and her profile comes up it won't take a year That right behind the LinkedIn profile, she looks at results. That by itself is something just to, to give back to what Lisa and all of us have been doing here. Just saying that like we have been creating this community and it is us who have been doing little changes, but that little change, change little by little, have, have, we have accomplished a lot. The most thing that I feel so privileged to be part of you is that now I'm part of a team that I can say, yes, I am part of you. I'm so proud. Keep going. Keep going and ask me any, I'll do anything I can. That's for me. Next. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, David. Any other uh, comments on the success? I appreciate how, Donald, how you just list them all out. Um, it really reinforces the idea that we, without people's names attached to it, because that reinforces the whole idea of Scrum and Scrum's 
uh, joint group accountability. Um, and so, like, yeah, we did this together, not I did this piece, this number, this listing. We as a team, this is what we accomplished in this uh, sprint. So I really appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'll just throw in a branding statement because this is what we're continually trying to do and improve it. But it's important that everyone understand the mission and the vision. So I'm going to add this. Um, one of the things I've, uh, you know, in the study of project management, there's a value, right? What, what is it that motivates employees or motivates people in general to do something? And a lot of people in the industry think it's money. And um, that's really low on the list. Um, I, I can't um, quote the author, but I know the content. So let me just describe it. You know, it's not Deming or anything like that, but it's, uh, um, it's basically, we all need something that's challenging, okay? And, we, and, and that, that's appealing to every one of us. And we all need to, uh, and most of us in most cases, love a challenge. And part of that uh, uh, other value is to do something that we can master in, right? So, so far, boom, we've hit both of those in what, what this program does. And the third one is we're making a contribution. Those are the three top things. And so this is why, um, uh, you know, I, I feel uh, compassionate about it because, um, it, it hits all those areas and, and uh, every one of us, any, any volunteer who joins this can, can uh, accomplish those three needs, right? Those are the needs for us. So just to let you know, um, you guys hopefully have gotten the challenge, you've mastered it something and you, you, you're making contribution done, right? You've hit all those check marks. And uh, so there, that's my pitch for the, the vision uh, and and how this is consistent with that, and how you guys are are part of that, part of that vision and part of that mission, and uh, the journey. Okay, so uh, any other before I go on, let's go into. Um, Hold on, the, give me a second. Give me a second on on mission on vision. Uh, honestly, my I I was thinking maybe yeah we take this svprojectmanagement.com we create the the. Uh, the blog and we make a, a platform for everybody. I've changed that. I've, in my mind, now I'm thinking we are creating something for the society that's, that others are going to join us. But before that comes, you guys, we have created a team mm -hmm. that can rock. Is rocking. Mm -hmm. We have created the team that is doing little things Trust me, it's going to stay there for, for years to come. Something that few people started and they take, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, they take the advantage of that, they take the value of it. Kimberly always says that we, uh, we, svprojectmanagement.com is the first block for project pro program managers, free block for, it, it is. So she takes that, uh, that, that, uh, credibility that she created that you know what we're going to take the credi credibility that we are going to make it uh, available to everybody not just because it's a block system for everybody but because we are creating a team that's going to last much longer than the block this is going to be the story that is going to be told i'm hoping being told in many scrum uh uh retrospectives that a, a group of project program managers passionate about creating a community of uh, bloggers among project managers who have done great things and these are the people that's changed for me that's my meet and i'm i bring as many people we have i'm hoping that many people stay with us and we create scrum of scrum of scrum but trust me we have created, we have initiated something that many companies are 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 paying arm and leg for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, David. And, and as we record this and expose ourselves, the vulnerability right of being exposed of the, what what it's really like, um, then that would uh, benefit the community and 
and add value to it. So um, I think it's got all the elements of success. That's basically why I brought up the values. You know, the, the, you know. Okay, so let's go in. I think uh, it's 1030 or in my time, it's uh, half an hour into the call. So let's get into the meat of the retrospective. And these are the things on the agenda. And so at this point, um, I have it up on the drive and this is where we'll want to start taking notes from the team. Um, Lisa, do I, do I open this or set this in any other mode so someone else could get on there and take notes? How do I? Uh, no, so I mean, you see that button which says open with Google Docs. So yeah. basically this is a word file, but anyone who wants to add it, yeah. So if you click on Google Docs, Yep, so that opens up a new window and now it will function like a regular Google interface. So here you can type, anyone can type. Ah, so yeah, okay, got it. Okay, so at this point we're at the, uh, the, the, the next subject after the uh, accomplishments, <clears throat> success. Let's go to the next piece. So I have some questions to ask the team and it's just to go around and um, Let's let me move it down. And these are the these are the challenges. <clears throat> so let's reflect on this. Uh, what were some of the challenges this team experienced? Let me just go through them, and then you can pick any one and, and chime in. Okay. So, what did you feel went well? Did we continue doing this in the next sprint? So it's sort of a multi-tiered question. And some of these they sort of go hand in hand with each other. So I'm going to read them all. Based on what you know now from the experience, what do you think we can improve going forward? What do you think didn't work out so well? Uh, what could we have done differently? Think about that. Should we try a new approach on those things? Uh, what should the new approach be? Uh, what would you expect the outcome to be if we tried this particular new approach. So when you when you have this conversation, you have come, something comes up to mind, and you bring that up. Um, if we can follow up with those questions, we'll have I think plenty to do to put down as far as action for our, our uh, results based on the ret retrospective. Okay, um, so let's start there. Those challenges. Um, think about the challenges that you had, and think about some things that. Um, let's go around. Does anybody want to step up and so? Try to... Hi there. This is Sylvia. Oh. May I quickly give a, a short note? Uh, April should have to leave in 15 minutes. Let's start. Okay. With, uh, yeah. Okay. I think this is going to be the best way. All right. Thank you. Thank you for suggesting that. I forgot about the folks that had limited on the call. So let's go with the folks that have to leave. Marina, you got to get off in about 15 uh, minutes. Uh, don't don't worry about me. Let's we'll start with. So you are, she has to leave soon in yes, okay. uh, I'm gonna leave in 40 minutes. Okay. Um, so who has to leave first? Uh, we'll, we'll make that the first person. Uh, so are, how about you? I think April has another 10 minutes. I don't know what time do you have to leave. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah sorry. No, no. Go ahead. I, I, I actually might I have to extend and say, oh, go ahead. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, um, about this uh, sprint, so I don't have much to, to say because it was, a, on my end, it was a very personal um, task that I took on. So I didn't experience, you know, like any, you know, significant issues. So one of the things that I could say in terms of, you know, like the team, uh, how we work together. So. Um, it was great. I mean, it's always great to have that stand-up meeting, you know, like uh, once per week, you know, on you know, like the the phone one. Um, but I actually missed, you know, like getting updates from everyone else on the Slack. So uh, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe someone went ahead. I don't remember exactly, but um, I think we are always supposed to be like uh, posting, you know, like Monday. Uh, then we have the Wednesday on fo uh, phone call. And then Friday, so we are supposed to again, you know, like post uh, in a Slack. And um, I have the feeling that you know I was missing like seeing where everyone else was uh, uh, was standing, right? I mean, at that point. So 
uh, you know, so really it's on my end, you know, like getting a bit more uh, updates from the team so that, um, yeah, I, I get to know like, uh, yeah, what everyone else is doing, uh, what are their current impediments and so on. Um, so that's probably the one thing that I will highlight. And then in terms of uh, everything else, so I did like that uh, we got together, I think it was two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Um, so that was good. So it was, you know, like great get to know, you know, like on a face-to-face -face, uh, with some of the team uh, members. And other than this, I don't think I wanted to say anything else. So um, yeah, that's all really. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> I want to probe a little bit, Cielo, you know, because it's going to help us. Because um, I've seen, uh, I've heard this again, um, the Slack communication. And uh, me, I may have been just sort of, um, uh, I'm pretty um, open about people's time. And uh, I know that the stand-ups are important and we have the, 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 the actual virtual stand-ups and then we have the, the daily commitment to put some, something in Slack. Is that what you're talking about? Is not getting enough of that activity? But instead of the daily one, I don't think we were all committing to, you know, like uh, input daily on a daily basis, but uh, we definitely committed to, you know, like do on uh, uh, Mondays and Fridays, so on a Slack and then Wednesdays, you know, jump on a call. So I was missing the Monday and Friday uh, updates on the Slack. But again, I mean, I'm talking, you know, like based on, um, you know, like, um, I, I, yeah, I mean, based on the, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know how to say it. So basically I was yeah. missing like seeing those updates on the Slack. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, is it more of a, was there one, you know, don't, I'm not getting the specifics, but in that case, cause, um, we, we, we do always, I, I've seen this in a couple cycles where we do have uh, that commitment and then not everybody posts those Monday and Wednesdays. I think this is what we're getting at, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I want to sort of delve into that and see why is that the case? Because I don't think anybody intends to ignore or tries to do this, you know, deliberately. What is the cause of not is that commitment too much or is it too uh is it is it uh is it do we have to try something new or something different or open can up? i yeah. could i jump in on that i yeah. must have missed something written somewhere or spoken somewhere i didn't realize we had a monday and friday commitment to post on slack uh, um, okay so that's my mm -hmm. mistake for not understanding there was a commitment no there. problem uh, that, that's very good Avery. actually um, actually, so one maybe, thing, maybe Don, that's okay. actually one yeah. thing, Donald, it's it, it, thank you. Let's not go back to why and how, what happens and root cause and other right. things. Let's let's learn from that. And what I'm hearing is that we need to improve our communication. Thank yeah. you, Lisa, for capturing that. Right, we and will that's do what it. I'm getting at. I'm getting at. What is it that, because uh, I've, I've consciously, you know, uh, personally have tried and so maybe there's something that I'm blind to that, that you know, we need to find some, some way of communicating that. Um, so, okay. Um, from Sylvia's perspective, we have too many tools and I know on the job we're going to have the same amount, if not more, but it's just so hard to log in and you know, find the time in the day to log in and, and enter information. And um, and so I'm I need to get better at the tools. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually taking at the library some training on the Google Suite, and I want to get more into Slack because I realize that it's really my lack of knowledge on the tools. It's not really forcing me to go in and make those updates. Mm -hmm. However, I have been thanks to Marina uh, updating her as to my status. So mm -hmm. um, so the status from my from my perspective has gone out, mm -hmm. but just not in the right agreed upon way. Right, right. And, and <clears throat> I'm with you, Sylvia. I'm a little shy. I'm, I'm actually introverted. So I will feel better directly communicating to a one-on-one -on -one as opposed to sending it all out to the team. Now I'm vulnerable, right? Even my misspellings or something like that, right? So this is where we build that trust. So that's good. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, an idea is um, as you do that, 
Um, there's going to be other folks that are coming on that just like you that, that have, I mean, even myself, I'm not an expert. I even had to ask uh, Lisa about, you know, how to open up the, the document and so forth. So um, if there's an easy place where, you know, as you experience that, throw that on Slack and say, Hey, I found this great tutorial or I found something that's nice. That would be, yeah, that would be will do. It took me eight minutes just to be able to join the meeting and figure out which tool I needed. So <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else? So I think maybe we can uh, let April say something about our things, how it went well, and uh, like what does she think we might improve plus and plus in answer this question because she has to go next. Okay. She has to leave. She has to leave for April. Okay, April. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I want to start out with a few positive things um, because this, as this was my first sprint, um, I was fairly familiar with the tech tools already, um, but how this team was, I really appreciated both people's individual availabilities to check in with me and say, hey, am I posting this in the right place? And also all of the actual written materials um, to help me get onboarded. Onboarding in my mind is a really, really important thing. And this team has done for an all volunteer effort, what I consider a bang up job um, on orientation. Um, and so kudos. Um, and I would absolutely echo the, um, the fact that we got together in person, that was, that was really, really beautiful. It there brings that team responsibility. Oh, I know Sayoa, I know Rhea. Like I've seen them face to face. Um, and I think that makes a big difference. Um, the one challenge that I ran into um, that felt significant was that I, I think my backlog item, I don't know if I didn't quite understand it or it was actually maybe like when we figured it out, it was actually two backlog items. Um, so I think we kind of figured it out during the sprint, but that just caused me kind of to slow down and pause and like be a little unsure in my very first sprint to um, really step up and say, hey, yo, we got to figure this out. Um, so. I think the learning maybe would just be, I think for me to pipe up in the sprint planning and say, hey, I'm, I think this actually feels maybe like two things. Can we talk about this offline a little bit more? Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah I, th I think that's, I, I and I, and I also want to say that, that everybody here is, finally, I want to say everybody here is doing an amazing job of actually helping us learn Sprint. Um, I've got the certifications already and I've taken other classes and I'm going to Bay ALN, but to actually see a definition of done and to see a user story and to see how we're using Trello, um, this has been immensely, immensely helpful. Um, and I feel so much better prepared whether I end up as a scrum master in my next job or whether it's something else to really, I know so much more. Excellent. And a couple of, couple of things. Uh, thank you both, uh, uh, Sylvia, actually all of you guys, Sylvia, April. Uh, yes, face to face. And that's why we, we emphasize on any agile framework, not just scrum. Uh, on face to face because it creates uh, it builds that trust relationship based on knowing each other and and uh, having that facial expression and uh, getting together with our you know with our with all the things that that is attaching us human together that's number one we will keep doing this and this is why we have retrospective i will do my best to create at least one face-to-face -face meeting and uh, at least one on every sprint that we go through. Uh, as for tools, honestly, there's so many tools out there, so many different companies doing so many different things. Onboarding takes uh, somewhere from a month to six months 
depending on the company and the number of tools that being used. At Google, it took me uh, about a, 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 a week, almost a week, to get uh, along with the, the, this uh, stack, stack of tools they use. But we are volunteers. We are creating a team of Scrum. We are making the team as we go. And we, we're learning from each other and how we do. This is the Scrum team that uh, a, a lot of companies have, uh, have struggling, have been struggling to create. And we're doing it. You are doing it. It is excellent. And do you see this? First, we, we, we're, we're recording this so we can go back. But in action, the way we talk, we interact, we point out what are, what are the impediments, what we've come, what we've learned, what we want to improve, uh, the, 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 the onboarding parts. Uh, gosh, this is taking notes. This, these are the, this, this is the team in, in being built in action. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, I'm <clears throat> April. Um, I'd like to reflect on the fact that uh, in this sprint, we've got an opportunity to experience a fact that will happen in every sprint where we've accepted a backlog item that was sort of bigger than we thought, right? And so we, we had to break it down within the sprint cycle, right? And this is something that, um, so it's a unique opportunity, actually. It was a really nice way to show and demonstrate what goes on on a daily basis. This isn't actually um, common in, in teams. As you get better at it, you, you, we all know in this reflection is maybe um, doing backlog refinement and a little, be a little more vocal or uh, diligent at the uh, backlog items that the, during the sprint planning sections to meet it. So there's those lessons learned, right? We're going to get better at that. And we, we become familiar of the signs of, well, you know, so we sort of get a sixth sense about these backlog items and be able to manage them much better. And what we did is uh, amazing. We, we didn't abandon a piece of that. Usually when a backlog item is broken down, you go back to the product owner and you go, okay, this is too big. Uh, we need to adjust. But we still carried on that volume. You broke it down into two particular activities, but you still kept it within the backlog. So uh, kudos to that, because usually those go back into the backlog. So, um, you know, you handle it, it's very open-ended, right? And as you get more and more comfortable and you see and you, you get acclimated to, to how to go about, and as David says, using all these tools and techniques, you become skilled at being able to, um, uh, I guess, guard against your velocity, right? Because that, that was something that you wanted to commit to and you, you held on to that. That was quite a challenge. So you, that's another accomplishment we should probably put in there, but it's sort of a, it, it, it has sort of a, uh, diff it's it's a it's a different element. It's not as tangible, right? So um, that that's my two cents on that, April. Thank you for sharing that. Thanks for that reflection. Okay. And while my mic is still on, I have to pop off. Um, I really, again, thank you all, and I look forward to being part of the next sprint. Awesome. We'll have an announcement on the kickoff, uh, and that'll be in a week or two. And April, you came on late, so we talked about uh, this next sprint cycle is going to be a little longer because of the holidays. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, but we'll keep folks posted. So thank you, April. So from uh, my perspective, uh, oh, the last sprint, I really like get so much more knowledge. And uh, like in some kind of students, each other. Uh, Marina, I'm sorry. Um, I, I can't hear you. Can you it's very, hear? very low. It, yeah, it was very blurry and we couldn't really hear you. It just it sounded more mumbled. Uh huh. I can hear me right now. Do you need to get closer to the microphone? This is, okay, uh, yeah, this is me, much better. But yeah, so. Uh, I just would like to thank you all for this experience which I got, like this second screen, I really like started to understand how uh, and what is uh, Scrum Master Pro. And uh, I also would like to congratulate three of our team members got the job during our sprint. It was Sayola, she got a job. 
I started uh, with a new company and they have heard that Sylvia also started a new job. Uh, so congratulations to all of us. But from my perspective, I feel like um, since we are practicing Scrum, uh, we need like more connection with each other. I feel like our Scrum channel does not work. This kind of, we don't have this connection. It was great that uh, we were able to meet in person. I really appreciate that we could get together. And again, uh, connection and transparency. And uh, I think for the next three, we might can find a, to put in our um, three boards. Then, just one second, let me uh, read it. I have it somewhere. So I think like for improvement, we can uh, decide that to put our, in our three boards uh, print retrospective ideas like to make it visible what we are talking right now, like we're now in perspective meeting about like kind of what we can improve so the team will always when they open a three or board they will see like this improvement I think. Excellent. That's yeah. I think we're making some progress on that. And I, I, this is part of you know Again, uh, we heard that the last retrospective and we're getting better. And so what um, um, the fact that we're doing this now, we'll, we'll find out, right? Uh, the, the, we're making more of a deliberate effort to, to document and make this public. At the beginning, we didn't know. We, we were told, you know, retrospectives are very, um, you know, private within the, the core group and so forth. But it sounded, it's, it's sort of relieving to know that there's trust within this org this team that would allow stakeholders and, and sponsors to be part of it. And, um, you know, that's, you know, what we're told that's not supposed to happen. But if the, I, it just tells you, David, that if the trust and the, and, the, and, and the bonding within the team is good, it could be at that level. You actually get more out of it, hopefully. You get, you, you get there faster. So um, that's what I'm sort of uh, experiencing here. Um, so Marina, what what new or more thing, do you have anything that we can do more? Uh, um, this is a talking with you yesterday, I guess, or a couple of days ago about uh, what if we will try maybe next sprint to have a burn down chart. This way the team is gonna see where we are at and like, uh, that's one of the idea which I have in mind. And it's also gonna help us, you know, to get new knowledge, how to do it, uh, this like burn down chart and team you'll see because like the team and real organization, they use this technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burn down charts. <clears throat> and um, other than that, I'm just so excited to join next week and get more knowledge. I really uh, like, like our team and uh, all knowledge which I get from it and from some experience. Thank you so much, everyone. Awesome. Well, you did an excellent job and stepping out of your comfort zone and being the Scrum Master. and You did great. So look at where we are and look at what we accomplished. And, you know, and uh, it's just stepping out and doing, you know, it's, it's ordinary people doing extraordinary things. If you follow the process, it works. So. So uh, you, you've proven that. You hopefully you've proven that to yourself too, and you know, and your teams can vouch for that. So thank you. Yeah, and let's get together more often this weekend. Yeah, I really, really miss the fact that I was unable to be there at San Francisco. But I'll now, now you know, I'm I'm willing to put my money and time down to go down and make it happen. So uh, that's my goal: is first quarter to do that and. Um, I hope to meet not just this team, but any other folks that were involved, like um, um, Ashwani and and Mikhail, Michael, uh, and uh, uh, Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, you guys, uh, you you guys rock. Gosh, uh, thank you, Marina. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Sylvia, uh, Sia, and uh, every one of you that that are are helping us, teaching me, helping me to learn. Uh, and uh, stepping out of your, your comfort zone uh, reminds me myself, I was so introverted, I couldn't do anything. 
now look at me, I can stand in front of 500 people and just start mumbling. I have to leave as you're hearing the, the banging on the walls and other things. And they called me, I gotta leave. I'm going to watch the remainder of, of, uh, of our uh, uh, Zoom uh, video. And I'm definitely going to come back and check our Slack channel. Please forgive me, I have to leave. No problem, thank you David for joining us. Thank you. Thank everybody. you, David. Bye. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you. All right. So did we get everybody? Um, so I, I, I uh, this is Sylvia. I just wanted to apologize to everyone. I really wasn't present during the sprint. Uh, Marina and I did communicate uh, quite a bit. Uh, you know, I got a job at the beginning of the sprint. And between the training, you know, when you don't have a job and you go to having a job, you don't realize how much time a job takes. So, <laughs> so even though it's part time and it's temporary, it's actually community outreach for a nonprofit. The amount of time it took for them to train me and to find out all the organizations we want to visit and speak with and all that, you know, just the setup took so long that they treated it like a full time job at the beginning when it was supposed to be part time. So even though I tried and tried, I just couldn't make it to meetings. And I, I guess I chose the wrong time for a couple of meetings because I can't do it at eight because I'm driving kids around to school. So it was just even for this meeting, uh, as, as it started, I got a call from the city about our neighbor's tree. And then while I'm talking to them and trying to not, you know, still be present here, I had to run to the door. And it turns out we have bark being delivered. It's supposed to be at nine. They showed up at 820. So I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so it's constant chaos. Uh, hopefully things will slow down. And I, I definitely want to be part of the next sprint. And I definitely enjoy doing this. And I'm right. learning a lot. So please forgive me. And I'll definitely no. be there for the next. Okay. So I got a comment on that, Sylvia. It, it, yeah. it, it's great that you let us know this. Because this is really, I find is common what happens within the members and what we think on the other side is oh did they abandon us Are they i think we all have these issues and keep that in mind um uh, you know and and keep a, a positive light on the folks that that uh, since they can't join our our, our uh, contribute in slack it's because of the nature the volunteer right you're there there's life happens right and so um uh, it's great, and it's great that you're able to get be here and express that. And um, you know, just sort of when you're on the other side, um, don't let that be an inhibitor. Do what you can to plug back in. You know, like yeah, you did. definitely. And, and today, I really wanted to be here for this meeting, so my husband took the kids, uh, but that made him late for his job. So, <laughs> so you know, we're trying to balance. Yeah, awesome. So everything. Um, adds up and it really really does help so thank you yeah i also have uh, one of the things to add i don't know if it's going to work with us or not but maybe uh, we can consider to add in some channel one more channel about like learning and uh, just share there some great i don't know videos or books or whatever which is going to help us to improve in uh, some framework Okay. All right. So um, I think um, just the technical, we'll stop for a minute and just give you guys some technical things. Um, uh, I'm sorry. So um, I'm sorry, uh, Donald. I, I do have to go. Uh, right. I wrote in the, ch in the chat that at nine o'clock I needed to go. All right. So, so you're I'm going to drop off, but I'll definitely uh, review the video. Okay. Thank you. We're almost wrapped okay. up. I think we got everybody in. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, de definitely catch the last piece. We'll sort of wrap this up, and and uh, we're good. We're good to go. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, guys. All right. So Sylvia, you're still on. That's great. So we'll um let's go in there. I think we collected enough. Yeah, I, Donna. In sorry, I, I'm still here, but I was uh you know like sending a text that I, I have to leave. So um, okay. it was great talking with all of you, and uh, I'll keep in touch over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you cut out, but we, we, we want to wish you well and thank you for joining and, you know, well, good hour. We, I think we're almost wrapped it up. So, so uh, thank you.
you made it happen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank I mean, you. I was able to to get some time. So yeah, talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, great meeting. Okay. Have a nice weekend. You. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Okay, so Marina, um, it's gonna be you and me as we started, right? It's it's yeah. this little, you know, woo, going start back. Um, but we got, I think, accomplished what we needed as far as um, and and Lisa, I think she had to drop off too. So, but she captured the essence of the of the retrospective and all the items that we can do uh, as far as in the next sprint. Some of these will end up becoming sprint backlog items. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I will. Don't, don't yeah. know. I don't. I don't know if I described it clearly. I was got uh, for some reason, but nervous at the moment when I had to talk <laughs> right away, and it blocked my mind. I forgot what I had to talk about. So, what do you think about the idea to put in the tree or board like print retrospective? Uh, I don't know, like meetings, not like and. Uh, for example, after we should perspective, we have some ideas to improve about communication or whatever. And we can just put it in there, and this way, every time when team open their trio board, they will kind of see and remind themselves about like this. Yeah, that sort of ties into one of the backlog items we have is putting things in a location. And um, it, I, I, I have no, I mean, I, I'm all for. Um, now that we have the retrospectives, uh, let's put them in a spot, as you mentioned, where people can get to. And it's great for orientation. It's great for... Yeah, re reminder, because we can't... Reminding, right, right, the right, same right, right, right. And you could actually see what we pull. Um, you can see the full story. You're right. You have all uh, full disclosure of how we evolved, right? Because you can see because, the retrospective. Yeah, because retrospective is all about like, kind of feedback and improvement. Right. So this way we kind of like you know just you know because we have a big list of writing from the backlog right. and people are not gonna call there but here like right. few just very important ones which we can catch capture and the people will like right so what here's what I was gonna do is I um what I think in in the uh, I had a thought here as far as once we have the list of retrospectives, if we went into the backlog, my next job as the product owner is to put these and form them into actually action, actionable items within the backlog, right? So then the team could decide which one they would focus on. So what we have now is we'll have a place for people to go to look for what, what those retro, uh, sprint retrospective items are and then they could see how they evolved into backlog items. And then they, you, you could also see how the team has mm -hmm. adapted our, our chosen one to accomplish within the sprint planning session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then how they fulfilled it in the sprint uh, review, right? Mm -hmm. So you see the whole story from retrospective all the way through. And we haven't, you're right, we haven't had that full story yet. And this, this does that. I think this is what um, I think is coming through in the message of the retrospectives. You want you want a full story so people could see yeah. the, the whole and cycle of how the team evolved. Right? Mm -hmm. And another one thing which I would like to share with you, I forgot to mention this with the team. So when we have a spring backlog item, once it's done, we put it in the done section, right? Yes. Like accepted. So what if in this backlog we will just mention through the dash? Which sprint was it? Like sprint number four, five, six. This way we will have a track which sprint what have been accomplished. And if we have to get back anytime, like and think about like when did we do it, basically, or some story or whatever. So we can okay. easily kind of, you know. Could you put that in the um in the action planning? Uh stack, let me put it in my and I will uh, correct it. Um, they just have to uh, run to my work. Okay. Um, uh, I will, okay, I'll I put will, that in there. I'll put that I, in there. I, I, can, I can do that. I just can do it a little bit later. Yeah, so I can see what the, the point is that um, remember, I'm going to be talking with Rhea 
this afternoon to get that list of uh, completed, um, done backlog items. And, and going forward, I'm finding, trying to backtrack is very costly and time consuming, but going forward from sprint four on, we can identify those items and then continue to do that. We can call the sprint one through three, all these mm -hmm. things that we have in this current report, just call it sprint one through three. Mm -hmm. And we'll at least know how that the, the team yeah. had started, yeah. but now we can go for it. Yeah. Is that okay? That'll work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, would you like me to add this mod later today or will you do it? I can do it a little bit later, I just need to go right now. Yeah, you could do it later. Um, this will be uh, on the in the uh, in the Google Drive, so you could add to it, and then I'll uh, I'll publish it. Would you like to add me uh, add it to in the action plan? I you know I could do it. I'm I'm on it right now. <laughs> um, um, okay, whenever. Like just want to make sure that we will do it. And uh, here's so here's what I suggest. Here's what I suggest. What I'll do is I'll pub I'll publish what we have left. Mm -hmm. I'll make that available. I'll, I'll stop editing it. I'll leave it alone. And then you can add whatever you, if I miss something, you can add to it. And then we'll publish it. Uh, publish this backlog record. You want to do that? Publish it. And you have the recording, right? So when you post the recording, publish the back uh, re ret retrospective. I will add the link to the, this document, right? Yeah. And uh, not that everyone can add something what they've been missing during our uh, meeting, not right? Right. So okay. if you put those two on Slack okay. and then ask if there's anybody to, you know, like you normally do with meeting minutes, just is there anything we missed? Just add, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. update it okay. if we over if we overlook something that was important to them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, uh, I I have to go. Thank you so okay. much, and I appreciate the. Knowledge. <laughs> All right, we'll make announcements for the next activity to the team um, sometime next week and, and get the next cycle started. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for being today. Okay. Bye. Bye.